Richard Southern joins us again with a look at some of the fun stories from the day. Richard, yesterday we heard from the CEO of Canada's top toilet paper company, and he said we won't be seeing another shortage this pandemic, fingers crossed. But uh, you also did some investigative journalism, and you settled another major question that people have been asking since the beginning of time. Yeah, so I'm going to interview this guy yesterday, right? And he's the CEO of Kroger. They make uh, Charmin and Purex and all these big uh, toilet paper brands, Janela. And so I put it on my Twitter. I said, does anyone have a question for this toilet paper CEO? And like the number one question was everyone's like, Richard, you got to ask this guy, do I hang the toilet paper over and under? And you know what we're talking about. I want to show you right. the, that's the over right there, right? right? And some people contend you got to go under I, here. I don't, is it, is it even a debate? Over makes the most sense. I'm saying over too, but I want to take, like, put it to rest. Just forever. go to the so source. I, and I said, listen, Mr. CEO, is it over or under? Here's what he had to say. Over or under? You're the man who should put this to rest. What do you say, Dino? Definitely over. There's actually a patent for, for toilet paper that was in the 19, early 1900s. And the patent actually, the diagram for the patent was over. And we know from our research that, uh, you know, 70% plus use over. 70%. What if, I want to hear from these other 30% why <laughs> why tell me why what is better I tend, you tend about to see putting it, it in under like, in hotels I see it under a lot for whatever reason if it's you, actually yeah. less hygienic I think because you're touching the, the your wall and hits the wall a lot yeah okay yeah. if you have a good reason for why under is better than over please tweet me and enlighten me Okay. We, see, we, we only flush, flush out the biggest and most important stories right here on City 100%. News. 100%. We, yeah. we answer the most important questions here on City yep. News. So, um, you know, lots of people probably during this pandemic feeling like they just want to run away, maybe hide underground somewhere and just stay away from all the germs crawling around this city. Well, a group of subway workers might have been doing just that. Tell us about this. My favorite story of the day, it's out of New York City. Uh, three subway workers have just been, uh, you know, laid off or, you know, t told to stay home without pay. After it was discovered, they created a man cave deep underneath Grand Central Station. Janella, they outfitted this with all the bells and whistles. Look at this. It had a table. It had a futon. In the back there, it had a full-size fridge. The fridge stocked with beer and snacks, the microwave on top, the flat screen TV with Netflix. Yes, they had a an internet connection down there. There's the IPA in the fridge, Janella. <laughs> now the isn't this crazy? The management at Grand Central Station said not only that they didn't they didn't know this existed, they didn't actually know the room was physically there. It was in a storage room uh, behind a locked door deep underneath the railway tracks. Hey, and I'm thinking I'm thinking Janella, you should let them keep it. Don't you think that they went keepers, to keepers, right? They don't fire them. <laughs> They found something that no one else knew was there, and they said, hey, no one else is using it, so why don't we? That's kind of I'm rude. actually really <laughs> impressed. Maybe you should find an empty room at City News, and you could create a, a spot for yourself. Maybe you know? there's a bunker here that I don't know about. I'm going to do some digging. Although, to be honest, there is no one in the newsroom for me to hide from. There's like five people here. <laughs> And I'm at home, so I don't even, I don't need a man cave. I got my living room right here, so we're good. Yeah, apparently the controller was telling me the bunker is uh, in the, the control room because they're not allowed to come out anymore. That's uh, Kim, our, Kim, our we're amazing director is down yeah. there. Yeah, they got the bunker down there. Our, our technical crew is, uh, they, I think they are building a man cave down there. Who knows what kind of party they got going on down there. They're probably crazy, telling crazy them, oh, stuff. it's awful, it's horrible, it sucks, but they've got a rager probably down that's, there that's where the action is with <laughs> kim in the basement yeah <laughs> all right have a, have a good one there it is hey oh, oh there they are the see the room. bunker that's the control room all our friends they, uh who get us to air i don't get to ever see them so hi hello <laughs> they do great work guys. down there and they, they have the power to cut us off at any point which they're about to do right now that's right <laughs> we love them very much they're a very important part of our team and we can't do our jobs without them love thanks it. so much richard we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow